finished player of all time not in the Hall of Fame. I feel like the, and the entire, Rockets not in the Hall. Of I feel like the entire voting committee for like the Baseball Hall of Fame is literally clone versions of the guy that talked about Aaron Rodgers. Like, <laughs> why are y'all all in your feelings, man? Like, just vote on what you saw on the field. It's not even like it's not even hard to like. What hey, be are we careful! About? Be careful! They're gonna come at you now. They will. They probably. They're will. gonna it's hear okay. it. We'll post. I'll it's blast okay. it. I'm, I want them to come at you. That's okay. It is. I want them to come is. at you it's because it's stupid. stupid that you're not gonna this. Okay. Take away, take away the 2000s. Take away 1999 on. This man was a 500, 500 guy. Hey, no, don't take it away because in 1990 on, everybody was doing it. No doubt, like, it doesn't like, matter. Look, they, they, okay. you can't put, you can't put the the commissioner from the steroid era in and not put the two biggest stars from the <laughs> steroid yeah. era. Look, look just retarded. <laughs> <laughs> the commissioner, the commissioner, Jeff Hassan? in ninety in ninety eight first said, "Hey, that was the first time I found out about it." Then when it testified and said he knew as early as ninety four, he's in. <laughs> But the players ain't in. It doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. That's it doesn't retar- make. Hey, Jeff Passan wrote the article, right? He said that the the Baseball Hall of Fame, the the part of the mission statement in the Baseball Hall of Fame is we are here to preserve and honor the history of baseball. Well, the steroid era is part of the history of baseball, is it not? You can't talk I mean, baseball. You can't it. talk baseball without it. Hey, you know what the steroid era did? The bit. Ba- nice baseball. We're in the, yeah, we're in the middle of the lockout right now. 1994, these guys say, you know what, I'm out. I'm just going to walk out. I'm off the field, gone. They Baseball had lost a bunch of fans. People didn't like it. Then all of a sudden, two of the biggest juiced heads in the world, Mark McGuire oh and Sammy God. Sosa, are hitting moonshots to Big Mac land. And Sammy's doing his hops and he's doing all those things. And they brought baseball back. They've made it fun because people want to see you hit homers. They wanted to see guys bulging out of their jerseys. That's what they wanted to see. Should and they saw it. And they saved baseball, right? But then all of a sudden... You had the steroid era, and people were upset, and they got their feelings hurt, and this is, oh, all the old people, like, this is not good for baseball. And I agree. I'm glad they got steroids out of baseball, but you can't ignore what happened before. You can't ignore the numbers he put up. You can't ignore the numbers that everyone – if you can tell me, and Will Harris said, he, said this on Monday. He said, if you can honestly tell me that there is not one person – in the Hall of Fame that was not on steroids, like if you said, you know, we've cleaned it up, that nobody's going to get in the Hall of Fame ever has ever taken steroids, then I'll say, okay, we'll go with that. Then nobody's ever going to get in that did steroids. Go ahead and add you, greenies in there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just go ahead and add all that in there, too. Like, and it's just, 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 just makes zero sense, man. Every game. Every but game. Here's, my, here's my here's my What's thing. What's up? coffee. I'm just <laughs> jumping off it's the walls. I slept in three days. It's just coffee. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Where's Joe Strawberry? Listen, hey, listen, listen, listen. I love, I think David Ortiz love him. is awesome. I mm-hmm. love the big love poppy. I got to be on the field when he hit the five. I was in right field when he hit the, or center field when he hit the 500 homers. Like, I love it. I think he deserves to be in. He deserves everything he's got. But let's not forget that he did test positive in 2003. And let's not forget that he was on the Mitchell Report in 2007. Served a suspension. He served a suspension, right? So, like, I'm not saying anything, I'm not saying anything bad about him. I'm just saying he gets put in. So the other oh, guys don't nice. get put on. So now you can't tell me that there's nobody in the Hall of Fame that was not com- not convicted, but not um, implicated implicated for taking steroids. You can't tell me that because that's not true. But you're not going to let Barry Bonds, who, and here's a great stat, David Ortiz's career on base percentage is 380. That's really good, right? I mean, the Hall of Famer, that's really good. If you take... Every single one, every single home run that Barry Bonds hit, so 762 of the home runs that he hit, and you turn all of those into outs. So he got out 762 more times than he actually did. His career on base percentage will be 384. And that man's not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that makes sense. This was- guy hit 762 homers. This guy had 73 home runs in a year. This guy is, he is a 500, 500 guy. He was a Hall of Famer before he even went to San Francisco. Intentionally with walked him down, up yeah, up with another Hall of Famer yeah. behind him. Yeah, crazy. Like that. Think about that. Like the fear that you're putting. I saw that stat. You know, yeah. Kent. That's yeah. a Hall of Fame stat right there. That's yeah. all you need to say. Yeah. If you yeah. put yeah. it in, like, we're gonna put a run in. It's closer <laughs> with a Hall of Famer up next. But get this motherfucker out the batter's box. <laughs> we like, don't yeah. see him. 
Good it's one, hey, if you really it's Casey it, at the bat. It's if, like yeah. this guy. So all he does is hit jacks. This way. If you really put it in layman's term, and it doesn't really matter what sport it is, whenever Bonds and Clemens like actually are it's gone. Chilling. I know people don't like no, it. I'm just saying, no, I'm saying whenever too. they're gone, yeah, like the, whenever they're dead and gone, <laughs> yeah, you'll talk about them as a person, but the first thing you do is just flash all of their uh, career achievements. That lets me know right there. Yeah. You are a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me. We're like, we're, like that's the first thing that's going to happen. Records, they go flash the that everywhere. That, the records that Barry Bonds has probably will never be broken. Yeah. I don't know if everybody's going to hit anybody's Seven. gonna hit 762 homers because it's the longevity it takes to do that. Like, Mike Trout has a chance, but Mike Trout has been kind of banged up the last few years. So, like, you have to play for a long time at a very, 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 very high level that is really hard to, is, is, is hard to sustain. It's, it's almost unsustainable. I said in 07-2, he was still the best player in the game and nobody offered him a contract. Go look at his numbers with the year you're retired. Yeah. Before you're retired. I Bro, was what, I, I, I ran across an article a couple of years ago and it was like 10 to 15 things that were just like single stats yeah. of like Barry. Barry? Barry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry. 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 I hope you're listening to this, Bear. Bear Bonds, Bear. Listen, Bear. Bear. You can say like his father. Hey, look, listen, no, seriously, though. It was like 10 or 15 stats of his, and they were all just like single stats. And every single one of them was stuff that you'd be like, wait, what? He did, huh? There was one year, I, I probably told you all this before because we kind of been on this, com- this conversation before. There was one year in the middle of the steroid era. Who cares? I don't care. Where he had more home runs than strikeouts. Yeah. Yeah. No, more, wait, wait. Swings and misses. Wait, wait, wait. More home runs than strikeouts. That year he hit 45 home runs. Like, that doesn't oh. make any sense. Oh. Hey, the, oh year that, yeah. oh, man. the year that he hit 73 home runs, he had more home runs than swings and misses. That means that 73 times he hit the ball over the fence, and at least 72 times he, the ball went and he swung and didn't touch it. Impossible. For the course of a year. Also, he had a year, I think it was 2004, where he had like 250 walks. Yeah. He hit like 50 some homers and he had 370 at bats, official at bats. Could you imagine having 100 plus intentional walks in a season? No. <laughs> Barry no. Bonds, is, his it, war, which all the baseball nerds love. Love, no, if, love now. If you minus David Ortiz's war from Barry Bonds' war, you get Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> Wait, reset it. So please say that again for so everybody can hear. That was a great stat. So, because cool. everybody wants to talk about war now, right? That's yeah, a great that's, that's what everyone ball. loves Trout about yeah. is his war. Right, right. Wins above replacement. Trout is a ball. Yeah. And so Bonds has the highest war of all time. If you minus Bonds, or if you take David Ortiz's war. Subtract it from Barry Bonds. Which is Bonds's. really good. Hall of Famer. Yeah. Clearly a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Right. As a winner. Right. Yes. You get Alex Rodriguez's total war. Who is also one of the greatest players, players of all time. time. And if A-Rod, he gets, put, he gets yeah. put on the ballot next year. 600 homers, right? A-Rod has 696. A-Rod was, was going to... They thought A-Rod... 696, yeah, A-Rod. He, yeah. yeah, because he couldn't, yeah. he couldn't play that. Yeah. But if he played... If A-Rod played, like... Without getting hurt, like if they suspension. thought he was gonna break the home run record. Yeah, yeah hundred game suspension. Yeah, yeah, like he missed the whole year. Like, yeah. yeah, but how badly he, does he want seven hundred? Hey, oh my if he gets in, <laughs> oh, eat some of them. If he gets in, if he gets into the, the Hall of Fame, you need to blow the whole system up and start over. Well, he's not either, because because of why these guys what? didn't get in. I don't know. He's on TV. That's he works for MLB. Like, like I don't know what's going on. That's possible too. You know what I mean? Like that's a guy that. That's, but, if that but, goes but in, if, you gotta blow the system But if he doesn't, but if he doesn't, he's gonna get caught by the same thing these two just got caught. Oh no by. doubt, he that should. rule change. If, if these guys aren't in, he that he can't get in. He can't. No, I'm just saying that well, like that legit rule logic. change that they put in instead of changing it for you can be on the ballot for 15. That's you can only be on for 10. That's why like, they, they were they literally yeah. What well, they, well, they, well, they changed it literally right around that time so that they couldn't keep being on them out because they didn't want them because the longer they were there, the more likely it was like they were gonna get in. So they said, hey, let's let's shorten it five years. So these guys definitely can't get in. Yeah. Well, I was asking you the question: Is Altuve going to be able to get in now? Is Beltran going to be able to get thing. in? All these other guys Cole? who cheated because of the the sign stealing scandal, like cheated. I think they all should get in. I think they all should get in. I do too. You know, like Altuve showed you last year that it didn't it didn't matter no. if he knows the signs or not, he's going to hit the ball. He's good. Like, well, we've been knowing good. that. Yeah. These guys are elite good. athletes, the elite baseball players, the best of the best in the entire world. 
but he took away the integrity of the game. Get which, out of here with the integrity of the game. It's a double standard. The integrity of the game has been... There is no integrity. There is none. There's none. There's none. There's none. Yeah, the like, integrity of no the game... There's no baseline of integrity for the no. game of baseball. No. You can't even measure that. None. Like how, yeah. You know, so like, like, get out of there. Get off of your pedestal mm-hmm. and realize the, the, that the, 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 it's that's okay. Not, that's not up for you to debate. Mm-hmm. Like, you are watching subjectively what's going on on the field, and are you a Hall of Famer? Like, that is, like yeah. you're not supposed to be able to... Judge character and all like what are you talking yeah, about? To do your stats. Like what are you? What are you you're, a, you're judging stats. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Numbers never lie. Here's the, here's here's the what deal. I'm saying. Like what are we talking about? Here's the deal. <laughs> the baseball writers got their feelings hurt from Barry Bonds and Kurt Schilling and Roger Clemens because they guys weren't the nicest people in the world and they decided not to vote for him. Is what it comes yeah. down to. Yeah. They got their feelings hurt. They control it. They don't want the guy who didn't vote for Aaron, uh, Derek Jeter. Like, no. like, what are we doing? Yeah. Because you want to make a point? Get the fuck out of here. There's one okay. baseball writer, he hasn't voted in two years. Right. He just doesn't cast a vote, and that's his job. Like, get out of here with that. Like, that's what you're there for. Like, it's an honor <laughs> to have a vote. What the fuck are you doing? It's an honor to have a vote. Like, that's not right. Not right. How do you get a vote? You have to be a writer for a certain amount of years? Um, I don't know. I, want I don't know. Now that, we're, now that we have mic'd up, do I get a vote? I don't, I, media I'm, in the, I'm in the media. No. Do I get a vote? How do you get? I want to vote. It has to be you have to like work for somebody for a certain amount of years or something. If you're a writer, if it's the writers of America or whatever. I, don't, I have no I have no clue. Yeah, no, that's interesting. I, I have no clue. About I, I have no idea. I know that <laughs> Dan Libertard sold just, his vote off and then he got like blackballed by Major League Baseball. He <laughs> yeah, I do. He I, just, I, love, I love that. Hey, I, love I just that. love that we're in the middle of a labor war and we somehow find this year to be the year where we're like, hey. No, we got another past, you know, convicted PED user. We're gonna let him in, not let the him in. <laughs> because he's a good person. Like he's just, a good guy. This is good like, for our image. Let's just go ahead and do this. Well, he's also a great media guy. He's probably yeah. he's on the media. Yeah, he's, he's a great. Media. I'm not. Look, no, I, I love I like, him. I like Big Poppy. I think he deserves everything. I think, bro. I think. I just think that's the bias. But I think that the sad part of it is, is because you know, if we know this, like they're they're baseball writers and they're in enough clubhouses, they talk to enough people, they interview enough people. Like there isn't a person in baseball that y'all have been around that I know I have been around that hasn't told you Barry is either one to none or there is he's one B to whoever they think is one. He's literally the best player that's the, played. You can't debate it. Like it's not even like they won't even have a conversation with you if he isn't at the top of that list. And I'm just like, well, how, we can't put him in? No, we can't. Know. We don't like him. I don't know, but you still gotta hit it. I mean, it's not kind of harder when you're bigger and stronger. And here's my thing, like, dude. He's still hitting Steroids aren't making you hit the no. ball with the fence. It's helping you recover. It's getting you stronger. It ain't, it ain't putting you on the sweet part of the barrel. No. Right? <laughs> He's not. Stop making you not strike out 45 times. Hey, I don't know what else to say. There's a lot of guys in baseball that have taken steroids that you don't even know about because they weren't good. Yeah. So, yeah, they because, doesn't that help? Or because like, they were one-hit wonders and they yeah. couldn't do it again. Yeah. It works because now they're stiff. They can't move. Right. They get hurt. Right. Like, it's, it so takes – there's hurt. more to it than that, right? And I understand that it's not fair and it sucks. Like, I'm not promoting steroids. No. The sad part, here's the sad promoting part. promoting good baseball players. Well, here's the sad part. Like, and, 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 and so, like, yes. the older era, the older era, like, before them were so pissed because they cheated. Uh-huh. Now they have these numbers. Well, if I go to the record books, you're still acknowledging these numbers. Yeah. So they need to be right. in. Right. They need to be in. <laughs> so, like, so you're if, if you're going to acknowledge the numbers, put them in. If right. they ask, if they ask, and you said, hey, oh, who has the, who has the most home runs ever in a season? They're going to say, oh, Barry Bonds, 700 and. What is it, 63? 62. Every single one of them would say that. Everyone. So oh, who are <laughs> So why, so you could just erase them from baseball? Like, that's part of it. If you're going to honor his record, he needs to go in. If not, then Babe Ruth still has the, the record, or uh, Hank Aaron still has the record. Yeah. Right? yeah who's to I, say I Hank Aaron wasn't on steroids? I, I mean, they, steroids back then. you don't know what they were doing. You're right, you don't Do know. they display the bloody sock in Cooperstown? Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up. They do. But they don't. So the sock is there, but he can't do that. (laughs) (laughs) Give us your jock strap, but you can't come. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Only if only for our benefit. You can't be a benefit. I was actually thinking about that weird because I've seen the bloody sock there, and I was like, this is kind of bullshit. Like, why would Kurt Schilling give him the sock? No doubt. I'd be like, fuck you guys. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Give us your sock, but you can't come in. No doubt. The sock is kind of a baller move. Think about going in the hall. 
Oh, yeah. oh my God. You ain't getting there, but we, yeah. we want to take your socks. It's really cool. Hand us your socks through the fence. You're not getting it. Just give us that. We'll take it. Slide open the door. Slide open the door. You know what? We'll send someone to go out there and get it. We'll be on the old pearly gates over there. Turkey and jerk off. Get out That's what I did with the sock here. You can have it. You're too bad of a person. Don't come close. 